Hello, rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building the San Diego Trolley Siemens S700 light rail vehicle. And this is a smaller train with three segments articulated in two places here. And this is what it looks like. So let's get right into the build here. So we're going to start off with the front wheels. So come down on the rails and we're going to put another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then behind it go to polished deep slate slabs on the upper hitbox and we'll do a 3x3 three three of slabs up here. Behind that another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four of the wheels. And then on the side here put three dark oak fence gates and open the center one. Same thing on this side, three fence gates, open the center one. Then we're going to swing up to the front of it and take out polished blackstone slabs here. And on the upper hitbox here, we're going to put three in the middle. Then on the front middle, a polished deep slate slab. On either side of it here, we're going to put a mangrove sign here and here. Then grab red nether brick slab, put one on the side here and one on the side right here. Then we'll come down behind this truck. We're going to come on the upper hitbox right here with polished blackstone slabs and we're going to go five wide and we're going to make it 12 blocks long. And then we'll just fill this all in so it's a giant rectangle that's five by 12. Then on the back in the middle here, we're going to put three iron trap doors on the top, like that. Then right here on the upper hit box, we'll go five wide of polished black snow slabs. Behind that, a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then on the upper hit box, a three by three of polished deep slate slabs. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four of these wheels. Then three fence gates on the side and open the center one. And then same thing over here. Behind this on the upper hit box, we'll go five wide of polished black stone slabs again. And then in the middle, three wide of iron trap doors. Then five wide of polished black stone slab again. And we'll turn that so it's 12 blocks long. So a 5 by 12 and a giant rectangle. Once we have that, behind that, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then a 3 by 3 of polished deep slate slabs on the upper hit box. And a final set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels. Then on the side, three fence gates and open the center one. Same thing over here. Then behind this on the upper hit box, three wide of polished blackstone slabs and a red nether brick slab on either side. Then a polished deep slate slab on the center here. Then we're gonna grab a mangrove sign again. And we're gonna put a mangrove sign here and on this side here. And now our base is done and we can start working on the ends of the train. Across this end here, we're going to do five red concrete. And then on the front of it, on the middle here, we're going to do a mangrove sign here. And we're going to type MTS in all capital letters. And we'll hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack, then put a glow item frame on either side of this sign. Then on the top middle here, we're going to do two rows of three black stained glass blocks and two red stained glass panes on either side of it. Then on the top middle, we're going to put three polished black stone stairs above the windshield here and then a glow item frame on the middle. And then we're going to have to repeat that down at the other end. 
So we're going to do the exact same process on the other end here. So we'll come all the way down here. Vibrate concrete across here. On the middle, a mangrove sign with MTS in all capital letters. Hit it with white dye and a glow ink set and a glow item frame on either side of it here. Then up here, two rows of three black stained glass blocks and two red stained glass panes on either side. And on the top middle, three polished black stone stairs and a glow item frame on the center. And now our ends are done and we'll start working on the sides. Now in this corner, on the side here, we'll do three red concrete coming back, then a column of two here, then a column of two here, then one in the middle, and a black stained glass pane. So it looks like that. Then we'll come on the bottom behind this, and we're going to do another four red concrete coming backwards. Above that, another layer of four. Then one on the end here and three black stained glass panes here. Then behind this, we'll do two mangrove doors, two red concrete above it, a column of three red behind the door. Then three red coming back on bottom, and then another column of three red. Fill this with two rows of three black stained glass panes. Behind this, we'll do two more doors again, then a column of three red concrete behind it, and fill in above the door. Then we'll come through to this other side, copy our doors over, and then we'll just come through the whole side of this car and copy our pattern of red concrete directly across from the other side, exactly the same way. And then we'll go ahead and fill in all of our window gaps with black stained glass panes. Make sure we copy this exactly the same too. Just like that. And now the first car is done and we'll work on the second section here. Behind here, we'll skip this middle gap where the iron trap doors are and we'll do a line of red concrete till you get right here. Then two on the top of each end and fill this whole side gap with two layers of black stained glass paint. And then of course, we'll just copy this directly across to this side. And then fill both of these layers with black stained glass paint. Then we'll come to this third section, skip past the iron trap doors and a column of three red concrete here. Then two doors, then up and over the door with red concrete. Behind this, three red concrete on bottom, then a column of three. Fill this with two rows of three black stained glass panes. Then behind this, we'll do two doors again, and then come over the top with red concrete and another column behind it. Then right here, two layers of red concrete all the way to the front. Then we're going to put a red concrete here and here. And then fill these gaps with black stained glass panes. And then we'll come to this side, copy our doors over. And copy our pattern of red concrete directly across exactly the same way. And then come back through and fill all our windows in with black stained glass panes here. Now come on the side of the end here and we'll do our mirrors. So we're going to put a temporary block right on the side here. Then put a wither skeleton skull at an angle. Take out the temporary block. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side, temporary block with our skeleton skull at an angle here, take out the temporary block. Then we have to repeat it down at this end. So do the same thing here, so we have a mirror down here. And then, same thing on this side, right here. And take out the temporary block. 
Now take polished blackstone stairs, start right here, and we're gonna do a full line of stairs on this top outside edge. Skip this middle gap, a full line of stairs on this section. Skip this gap, a full line of stairs on this section. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, start right here with polished blackstone stair. A full line up here. Skip the middle gap, a full line on this section. Skip the middle gap, a full line on this section. And actually looking at it here, these corner ones we're going to turn so they wrap around the corner on each side. And do the same thing here, turn these so they wrap around the corners. Next, take another brick fence, put one above this mirror, and one here. Then in this corner, put a dark oak sign, and we're going to put a set of parentheses. And same thing on this side, a sign with a set of parentheses, hit them both with red dye, and then a glowing sack. Repeat the process at this end, so another brick fence here, and on this side. Then in these corners, a dark oak sign with a set of parentheses. Same thing over here. Hit them both with red dye and then a glowing sack. Then we're going to take out a birch button and we're going to come on the side right here, put a birch button here, one on this side here. Repeat it down at this end, put a button here, and one on this side right here. Now come up here, put a frog light on this top item frame. Then we need to make a banner, so come into a loom with a light gray banner and red dye. Make the bottom half red, go to black dye, put a border on it, and a horizontal in the middle. Then we'll put these on here for the headlights. So put one on each of these bottom item frames, and then turn them so the red is on the outside. Then we repeat the process at the other end. So a banner on each of these, turn them so the red's on the outside. Then we'll put a frog light up on this item frame. Now we'll work on the interior, so come on inside here. And we're going to take out smooth stone slabs. And we're going to start on either side, right in front of this first set of doors. And we're going to put a double slab on each side and a single slab in the middle. In front of it here, we're going to fill it with double slabs all the way up to this front end here. Then up here we'll put three slabs across here for the control desk. On either side a glow item frame with an end crystal and a lever in the middle. Turn around and put a stair here for the seat. Then. Behind this, we're going to put an oak door in the middle and an iron door on either side. Then right here, a column of two iron bars on each side like this. Then we're going to put a stair here and here, and a stair here and here. I was having some trouble placing it, so I had to take off the doors, put the stairs in, and then replace the pattern of doors here. Then we're going to repeat the process down at this end. So in front of this door, a double slab on each side and a single slab in the middle. And then fill in down to this end, three wide with double slabs here. Then two iron bars here, two here. Then a stair here and here, one here and here. Turn around, three slabs here. A glow item frame on either side with end crystals and a lever in the middle. Then a stair here for the seat. Then right here an iron door on either side and an oak door in the middle. Then we'll go back to iron bars and come into the rest of this section here. And on the other side of this door we're going to put a column of three iron bars and then three here, three here, three here. Then we'll put three inward facing stairs on either side of this for the seats back here. Then three iron bars here 
and three here. Then we'll move to the middle section, three here, three here. Come to this end of the middle section, three bars here, three here. Then we're gonna put a stair here and here, skip one, a stair here and here, skip one and a stair here and here. Then we'll come to the third section, three iron bars on either side here, three on either side of this door here, three here, and three here. Then we'll put three inward facing stairs on either side here and here. Then we're gonna come in and take out light gray carpet. And we're gonna come through this whole floor, anywhere we haven't built anything, and fill it with light gray carpet. And come across these iron trap doors here with it as well. And this will cover all the holes in the floor here, cover these iron trap doors, fill in across here, down to here, and across here. Now the interior is done and we'll come back outside with polished black stone brick wall. And in this gap here we'll put a column of three here, and a column of three in this gap. Then get the other side, a column of three here, and a column of three right here. Next we're going to make more banners, so come into a loom with a black banner and red die. We're going to put a vertical on each side and then make the bottom half red. New banner, we're going to do a vertical on each side again and then a horizontal on the top. And these are to clean up the look of our doors here. So we're going to come through and crouch. And we're going to put the one that has the bottom half red on every single one of the doors coming down the side of the train. And then we'll do the other side, same thing, crouch and put the one with red on bottom on every single one of the doors. Then we'll take the other banner and put that on top of each door so it looks like our door extends up to the top here. Do the same thing on this side, put one on top of each door here, just like that. Now come back into a loom with a red banner and white die, put a vertical on each side, upside down triangle on top. New banner, vertical in the middle, horizontal on top, new banner, horizontal on the top and bottom, and a diagonal. Go to red die and put a red border on all three of these. Then we'll come place them. These go under this window right here and spell out MTS. Then same thing at this end, under this window spell out MTS. Then we gotta get the other side. MTS right here. And one more corner to go. MTS right here. Now we'll do the roof. So we're gonna come up front, across here. We're gonna put three polished black stone blocks right here. Then on the lower head box, three polished black stone slabs. Behind it, two rows of three polished black stone blocks. Behind that, go back to polished black stone slabs on the lower head box and two rows of three slabs. Behind this, we'll go to polished black stone brick block and we'll do a 3x3 three three right here. Behind that, polished black stone slabs on the lower head box again and a 3x3 three three of slabs. Behind that, go back to black stone brick block. We'll do two rows of three across here, then one in the middle and a deep slate tile slab on either side. Then three black stone brick blocks behind it and three polished black stone slabs on the lower head box behind that. Then, we're gonna put an oak trap door here and here. Then we need to grab black stone brick slabs. We'll cover the top of this block in slabs. Then cover the top of this box in slabs. Then we'll go to polished black stone slabs, cover this right here. We're gonna repeat the whole process at this end. 
So up here, three polished black stone blocks, three slabs on the lower hitbox. Then two rows of three polished black stone blocks here. Then behind that, we're gonna go to the lower hitbox and do two rows of three polished black stone slabs on the lower hitbox right here. Behind that, a three by three of black stone brick blocks. Then behind that, a three by three of polished black stone slabs on the lower hitbox here. Behind that, two rows of three black stone brick blocks. Then one in the middle, then three behind it. A deep slate tile slab on each of these two holes and put trap doors on top of each of those. Then three polished black stone slabs on the bottom here. Then take black stone brick slabs and cover the top of this box. Cover the top of this box. Go to polished black stone slabs in two rows of three right here. Then we'll do this middle section. On this one, three polished black stone blocks across each end. Then on the lower height box, three polished black stone slabs on each side. Then in each of these four corners, a polished black stone brick block. Then go back to polished black stone slabs on the bottom. One here, 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 and here. Then a smooth stone double slab in the middle. Then put a flower pot on all four of these blocks. Now take out a temporary block here. We need to get one right here. Then up one and forward by one like this. Take out that one. On top, we'll put two like this. And then right here, come over two. Then on either side of this, open a birch fence gate. Then we're going to put three iron trap doors up here. Take out these three blocks. Then we'll go back to a birch fence gate. We're going to put one on this middle here, open it here, then one here and open it, and then one on this top block and open it. Then take out the rest of these temporary blocks, and now we have our pantograph. Now take polished black stone brick wall on this top gap right here, and we'll put five walls coming across here to fill it in. And then same thing right here, five walls right here just like that. And there we have it folks. We've completed our San Diego trolley Siemens S700. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there rail fans.